Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to my crib. Let's go ahead and show you our setups. So these are our setups here, pretty much. We have a lot of unfinished business to take care of here. We have a lot of cable management we need to get fixed. We also wanna move this PC case to up here, which unfortunately, with such a big case, we ended up having to get a whole other case, which we'll show you here in a second. But we really wanna make this a fully functioning cabinet once again. This really wasn't made for a PC here. We even had to do some hack work in the back of it to cut out a hole so it could breathe a little bit. But we'll get that all taken care of. We have a lot of cables down here we need to fix. Sorry, Kovu. We have a lot of cable management we need to take care of that we just never got around to yet. But once we get the PC moved up here and get all the cable management fixed, I think this side of the room will be looking pretty clean. Uh, as for my side too, my, I, kind of the same situation. My case is way too big to even think of putting on my desk. It kind of lives down there, which is unfortunate. You can't really see it at all. And you can't even see the pretty side of it. And of course we have a lot of dusting to do. The cases are probably a mess. I know this one is for sure. We're gonna get that taken care of. Hopefully get everything looking pretty clean again. Since we're in here, majority of our days, it'll be nice to look at something nice. Let's show you the new case. So here's the new case. This is the MSI MPG100R, I think. And based off the specifications off of uh, Amazon, it should fit in here pretty perfectly. There should be about an inch of a gap. Lining it up now, there's definitely not an inch. I would say that is more like a millimeter. I can't even fit my finger in there, which is pretty, obs wow, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I mean, I don't even know what I was measuring from. I, well, I was measuring without the mouse pad. So let's see, without the mouse pad. Okay, so this is the spot we want it in. There'll have to be a little bit of a gap just so that we can get all the cords in there, but that's pretty much it. And, and without the mouse pads under it, it gives a little bit of space. I can at least kind of fit my finger in there, but when it comes to exhaust, that's still gonna be a little rough, but I mean, as long as all the air is going through and we leave enough space in the back, I think it'll be okay. I think getting the out of there will definitely help. Yeah, I think it looks good. It'll definitely look nice. And you'll, you know, you'll be able to see it from my streaming setup and everything too, so it'll be nice. I think it's a winner. It's actually a lot wider than I thought it would be too. All right, let's get this beast out of here. Luckily, the Cooler Master Master Case has this nice little handle. You can get some decent leverage on it. And we already unplugged all the cables and got it turned off and everything anyways. As you can see, we can even use it as a fully functioning case. Just for better airflow, we had to remove the whole top cover. And most of the time, it lived with this front latch opened, which is nice to have, just so you can get better airflow from where we had it in the case. And if you wanna take a look in here, this is our nice little hack job we had to do, just so that we could give it some better airflow. I mean, Probably doesn't look as bad on camera. And I don't think we're gonna really bother with it once we get the drawers back in there. You won't even see that anymore. I think we just need to get the PC swapped over. I think before we do anything, we definitely have some dust buildup we'll have to take care of outside. So we'll have to definitely get all that out of there and get it cleaned up before we even start moving it over to the new case because we don't want to put a dusty system in a new case. So I'll get that taken care of real quick. So we're gonna be using the X-Power blower. If you guys don't have one of these, these are pretty amazing. It saves you from having to use endless amounts of compressed air cans, and it's really great. Like, you just plug it in, you can use it over and over again, and it'll last you forever. I can only imagine how much dust is on this.
it was pretty bad. But with a good dusting, I think we'll be good. And then we'll get transferred to the new case. Then you can really make sure everything's all nice and clean then. Or as we pull out, we can make sure we wipe it down as we go. I think we're safe to just start pulling this thing apart and getting it thrown in the new case and getting it looking pretty. And then uh, maybe do some little prep work just so it's all ready to go for once we want to throw my brother's computer into this case. So let's get started. Oh my God, you see this dust. <laughs> Honestly, now that everything's out of here, we might have to just take it back out there and hit it with the duster again. And once we get even like the motherboard out of here and stuff, there's probably so many dust bunnies hidden behind it too. Um, even behind the radiator, I see like little hairs and stuff, which you can't really help. Especially in our case, when we had to take the front vents off, it's just going straight into the radiator. On the new case, I think we'll just end up putting the front radiator on the top and just let the front vents do its thing and all the filters. We got the new case up here, the MSI Gungner, and we're pretty much just gonna get it prepped and ready to go. Probably get off all the side panels, take off probably the front panel as well, just in case we have to fiddle with the fans or any cords. Uh, but here we have it. I mean, we pretty much got everything out of the old case, ready to go. Got it on some mats here, just so it doesn't scratch up the table. Uh, and it looks, you know, after we blew it and give it a little wipe down with the microfiber, it's, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, let's get started on this thing. It's gonna look good, I think. This is one of the great things too that I was hoping this case had that I didn't honestly really even look into, but it does have a fine filter in the front of it too. So we'll hopefully not get as much of that dust as we were getting before. So we're running into a little bit of clearance issues here. Just a quick mock-up, I threw the fans on. I did get the fans on the wrong way because the cord should be hidden on the back side of it. But since we're already here, just throwing it up there, you can't even get it past the ram sticks. The ram sticks are just a little too tall to fit it up there. So I think the only way around it is to put it on the front and then just reuse these fans on the top as a, an exhaust. Uh, luckily, this time around, we can get away from all the cat fur and stuff because we do have nice filters on the front of this space that will be usable because this will actually fit in here and our hard drive tray will be way down here, not in the way and not making it unusable to get a radiator in here with fans on it. So we'll just have to throw it up on the front and that should be fine.
happy with it. It turned out pretty great. I mean, we knew it was going to be smaller since it was going to that space. And uh, it, you know, it does look a little bit more packed in there. And you can definitely tell with the cables in the back. Overall, this is a pretty nice case. For the, for the price it is, I think it's $109 right now. You get all your USB ports, everything else. <laughs> that I can't use. <laughs> well, now you can use it. Now it's, you know, all plugged in. No, so because it's going to be blocked by the, the top. Oh. I can at least kind of fit my finger in there. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, so I mean, all you can really use is the back stuff then, huh? Now the real test will be to see if the sucker powers on. Hey, buddy. Moment of truth. I think I still know what I'm doing. All right, RGB. Oh man, now that's nice. I, you know, I respect some good RGB. One thing I really like about this glass side panel too is the screws go into a metal bracket in the back. And you're not actually tightening down on the glass, which always kind of scares me a little bit. But at least you get these nice little back brackets that you can actually just tighten in there. So functionality-wise, I'd say this case, case is pretty nice for a $100 case. I'll take it. So now that we're in here, we need to get a few things moved out of the way. We're not going to be able to use the sign here anymore, so we're going to have to move it somewhere, which we haven't really decided yet. I think the anchor can will be fine. We just got to get this mat out of here. Well, maybe. We can try it with the mat, because it would, it would look pretty nice with the mat there. Let's, uh, you know, let's see if it fits first. Will okay. I be able to turn my computer on? think so. Since the power cable is on the top. Honestly, it fits like a glove. You can't even get to your power cord though. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe with the mat out of the way, it'll give you some more room. You could fit your finger in there because it is the first switch here. It's sticking out a tiny bit. Unless you, yeah, unless you left it out like that so you could just hit it. Try that. I'll take the mouse out this out of here now without the mouse pad let's see i mean you can actually fit your finger in there a little bit easier if i just go like that or even push it in just a little bit more i think it's still pretty much i can do it let's get a part on see how it looks all right let's see sounds good it's pretty quiet too I love the little screen on the gigabyte. That's so, that's so sick. You gotta think we used to have it down here in these shelves, which now they're actual shelves again, which personally, I, I think this looks great. Having the computer up on the desk here, it'll just look nice. Kind of completes the room. And it's such a pretty PC, you just could never see it before. So we're just gonna pull up Specky real quick, just to, just to kind of look at the temps for now. And it sounds like it's running really cool. So I kind of figured running like the 27 to 30s. So I'd say that's pretty much it for the build part. I think the rest of what we have to do now is just basically getting all of our cables managed. And you know, this is a good first step, getting the PC ready to go and getting in its spot, make sure it fits and getting the drawers all put back in. All right, so we got the PC all situated now. We just need to see what we can do about these cables. Uh, since the PC's here and there's a lot of like walls that kind of block off where the cables are gonna go, I think we'll be all right. We just gotta get it all mocked up and kind of see where we're at. We can always get some like adhesive sticky tape and like zip tie some cables to the sides of the walls just to keep them hidden. So one thing you always have to consider is whenever you're moving your PC around somewhere, you know, all your cables aren't gonna be too happy with it. You need to make sure that you've got the right lengths for pretty much everything. And so what we did was we grabbed 4K capable display port cables. I think these ones are 10 feet, just so we can make sure that no matter where we put the PC and no matter where the monitors are, we'll have enough cable to reach. I really love these cables. I think they look pretty slick. They're gold plated and they're nicely braided, which it kind of sucks because they're kind of thick, but at least they look really nice. Sometimes I'll opt to just go for like the flat black ones so you can hide them better. For what they are, they're, they're pretty cool. And these ones, you can just tell, this is much longer. This should, this should work no problem. Oh yeah, this, wow, this one's super short too. 
This one might be shorter than the other one. I don't know why manufacturers decide to give you like a three foot cord. That's literally uh, assuming your monitor is right next to your tower. Which I know this is a little overkill, but still you should have a long enough cable to get to at least this. Roughly tightened up there. And from, from the front, you can't even see. I mean, if you're looking back here, you'll notice, but mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, because from the front, you know, you kind of not see them. Nice. Okay, so we got all those packed together. I don't know what this dangling one is. We'll have to figure that out. You get it kind of hidden back here. Okay, so now we pretty much have everything that needs to go up to the PC all together. I just need to try and fish these up here. I need your hand for this one. He's checking my work. You know, Kobe just likes to, you know, check your work and make sure you're doing it right sometimes. So now that we got the display port cables in there, I just want to boot it back up and just make sure that they are capable of going to 144 hertz. I know it says they could on Amazon, but I never trust it. So I'm going to check those first. And then once we're done with that, we don't have too many more cables to really mess with too much. I think the Ethernet cables, since they're flat, we can find a way to tuck them in, make them look a little bit nicer. But other than that, we just have to figure out a way to, you know, maybe tuck in those power cords a little bit better. We might have to get some like adhesive something so we can zip time to the back of the frame. But other than that, it's, it's looking a lot better. And then we'll just have to tidy this up too. We're almost done, I think. Close. I can already kind of tell it looks like 144 hertz, but I'm, I'm going to check anyways. I'm just going to go NVIDIA control panel and make sure they're at what they're supposed to be. Acer's at 144 hertz, perfect. And our MSI monitor right in front of you is also at 144 hertz, and it looks like we're good to go. Nice, so those cables work perfectly. I think that's it for kind of just troubleshooting everything, making sure it all works. I think now we just gotta finish up with the cable management and we should be good to go. It turned out pretty great as you can see we were able to get the pc in its right spot we got the fully functioning drawers now we also now have all of our cables pretty much hidden away except for the ones that you see which are the ethernets which i don't know exactly what we're going to plan to do with those they're super long about 20 30 feet or so but overall i think uh i think the setup looks pretty damn nice i think the biggest thing that helped us on this was using these little adhesive clip things that you could put little zip ties on and just kind of hold up all the cables that you can't really normally get to. On some desks, it might be kind of difficult, but on this one, it worked out pretty great. I, mean, I might end up using some of them on my side, but not too sure yet, but that'll be for another day. But I think this one's a wrap. Do you like how it turned out? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's a, a wrap on this one. I'll catch you guys later.